Keanu Reeves was ready to accept Jesus in front of a packed church, but just as the pivotal moment approached, a mysterious boy stood up, claiming to see something no one else could, and stopped everything in its tracks. Keanu sat quietly in the back pew of a modest church, his eyes scanning the intricate stained glass windows that filtered sunlight into soft hues of blue and red. He wasn't a stranger to quiet moments like these, but today felt different. For months, life had been pulling him in a direction he couldn't quite explain. Loss, fame, and the relentless passage of time had pushed him to seek something more, something that no movie role or worldly success could fill. Mr. Reeves, it's good to see you again. The soft voice of Father Michael interrupted his thoughts. The priest, a man in his sixties with a kind face and a warm presence, stood near the pews. Keanu nodded politely. Thank you, Father. I've been... I've been thinking a lot about what we talked about last week. Father Michael smiled knowingly and sat beside him. Faith isn't easy, my son. It's not about having all the answers. It's about asking the right questions. You've been asking a lot of those. Keanu leaned forward, resting his elbows on his knees. I guess I'm trying to figure out if... if this is real. I mean, I want it to be, but I don't want to lie to myself, you know? What if I'm just chasing something because I'm scared of what's next? The priest placed a reassuring hand on Keanu's shoulder. Doubt isn't the opposite of faith, Keanu. It's part of the journey. Would you consider coming to a more personal service this weekend? It might help you find some clarity. Keanu hesitated, but then gave a small nod. Yeah, I think I'd like that. The sound of children laughing outside broke the moment, and Keanu glanced toward the door. His gaze lingered on a young boy peeking through the open entrance. The child seemed ordinary, jeans, a t-shirt, and a curious expression. Yet something about the boy's steady, unflinching stare sent a strange shiver down Keanu's spine. Do you know him? Keanu asked, nodding toward the door. Father Michael turned, but saw no one. Know who? Keanu frowned, but the boy had already vanished. Shaking it off, he stood and adjusted his jacket. Never mind, I'll see you this weekend, Father. As Keanu left, he couldn't shake the feeling that something significant was about to unfold, something he wasn't entirely prepared for. The church was bustling with activity on the day of the service. The usual hum of hymns and quiet conversations filled the air as the congregation gathered. Keanu Reeves slipped into one of the back pews, keeping a low profile. Despite his fame, this wasn't about being seen. It was about finding peace in the chaos of his thoughts. He glanced around the packed room, catching glimpses of families, elderly couples and young children fidgeting beside their parents. His eyes landed on a boy, seated a few rows ahead. The child looked to be around eight or nine, dressed in a clean t-shirt and jeans. There was nothing particularly unusual about him, except for the way he sat, perfectly still, his hands folded neatly in his lap, his gaze focused on the altar as though he were waiting for something. Keanu couldn't help but feel a pang of curiosity. Something about the boy reminded him of himself at that age, quiet, observant, and a little out of place. Shaking off the thought, he turned his attention back to the front of the church, where Father Michael was beginning the service. Today, Father Michael began, his voice calm but commanding. We gather not only as individuals, but as a community of faith. Each of us is on a journey, and sometimes that journey brings us here to this moment of reflection and renewal. Keanu leaned forward slightly, listening intently as the priest's words seemed to resonate with the questions swirling in his mind. Was this the moment he'd been searching for? Was he ready to take this step? As the service continued, Keanu noticed the boy glance back at him, their eyes locking for a brief moment. The boy's expression was unreadable, calm, 
almost knowing. Keanu felt a strange sense of unease, but before he could dwell on it, the boy turned back toward the altar, his face serene. The hymns ended, and Father Michael invited the congregation to a time of prayer. As the people around him bowed their heads, Keanu couldn't help but glance at the boy again. He was still as a statue, his lips moving silently as though reciting words only he could hear. Keanu leaned back in his seat, trying to dismiss the odd feeling in his chest. He told himself it was nothing, just nerves. But deep down, he couldn't shake the thought. Who is that boy? And why does he feel so familiar? The service ended, but Keanu left with more questions than answers. The image of the boy's steady gaze burned into his mind. The church was silent, a reverent stillness filling the air as Keanu Reeves knelt before the altar. The glow of the candlelight danced across his face, highlighting the introspection etched into his features. Around him, the congregation watched in quiet anticipation. Some recognized him, of course, but today wasn't about Hollywood or fame. It was about something far more personal. Father Michael stood before Keanu, his hands raised in blessing. Keanu, in this moment, we seek to honor your openness to faith and your courage in this journey. Do you accept the grace and guidance of the Lord into your life? Keanu's head lowered slightly as he prepared to speak, his heart pounding. I do, he whispered, his voice steady but soft. Just as Father Michael began to lower his hands, a voice rang out from the pews, cutting through the silence like a thunderclap. Stop! The congregation collectively gasped, heads swiveling toward the sound. Keanu turned, his brow furrowing in confusion. There, standing in the middle of the aisle, was the boy from earlier. The child's face was calm, his expression almost serene but his voice carried an authority far beyond his years. You can't do this yet, he said, his tone measured but firm. Father Michael blinked, startled. Young man, this is a sacred moment. Please sit down. The boy stepped forward, his gaze locked on Keanu. You're not ready. I saw it, he said, his voice unwavering. If you do this now, it won't mean what it's supposed to. There's something else you need to face first. The murmurs of the congregation grew louder. Some looked annoyed, others confused, but all eyes were now on the boy. Keanu slowly rose to his feet, his eyes narrowing as he studied the child. What are you talking about? He asked, his voice low but steady. The boy took another step forward. You'll understand soon, he said simply. But if you take this step now, it won't be real. You have to find your truth first. Father Michael looked uncertain, glancing between the boy and Keanu. Keanu, he said gently, you don't have to listen to this. But Keanu held up a hand, silencing him. His gaze remained fixed on the boy. Who are you? The boy didn't answer. Instead, he turned and walked back to his seat, sitting down as though nothing had happened. Keanu's heart pounded as he stood there, frozen. The weight of the moment shifted, uncertainty replacing the clarity he'd felt just moments before. Around him, the whispers of the congregation faded into the background. For the first time in a long time, Keanu didn't know what to do. Keanu remained standing near the altar, his mind racing with questions. The boy's words had struck a chord, bringing an unsettling pause to what should have been a moment of resolution. The congregation watched in tense silence, their murmurs from earlier now replaced by a heavy, expectant stillness. Keanu, Father Michael began softly, you're not bound by this interruption. If you're ready, we can proceed. Keanu didn't respond immediately. Instead, he turned to face the boy, who now sat with his hands resting on his lap, staring straight ahead as if waiting for something. The boy wasn't fidgeting, wasn't shifting uncomfortably under the gaze of the entire congregation. He looked completely at ease as though he belonged there, 
as though this moment was exactly what was supposed to happen. Taking a deep breath, Keanu stepped away from the altar and walked slowly down the aisle toward the boy. Each step felt heavier than the last, the tension in the room palpable. When he finally reached the boy's pew, Keanu crouched slightly, his voice low but firm. What did you mean, I'm not ready? Why did you stop me? The boy tilted his head up to meet Keanu's eyes, his expression calm but serious. I saw you surrounded by light, he said, his voice clear and unwavering. But there were shadows behind you. They whispered things, doubts, fears, things you haven't faced yet. If you do this now, the light won't reach you. The shadows will stay. Keanu Reeves was about to accept Jesus, but it turns out that this mysterious boy saw something strange and stopped everything. Keanu blinked, taken aback. The boy's words felt eerily personal, touching on truths he hadn't even admitted to himself. What shadows? he asked, his voice barely above a whisper. The boy shook his head. You know what they are. You've been carrying them for a long time. You have to let them go first. Then the light will come. Father Michael approached cautiously, his voice soothing. Keanu, this child doesn't know your journey. Only you can decide when you're ready. But Keanu didn't seem to hear him. His mind was replaying the boy's words, each one sinking deeper. How do you know this? he asked. But the boy only smiled faintly and said, You'll see. The tension in the room thickened as Keanu stood in silence, torn between skepticism and the nagging feeling that the boy might be right. For the first time that day, he wasn't sure if this was the right step or the right time. The boy's calmness unnerved him, but it also made him think. Could this child, this ordinary boy, be pointing him towards something he hadn't yet seen? Keanu looked back toward the altar, then at Father Michael, and finally back at the boy. His decision, whatever it would be, now felt infinitely more complicated. The room was still, yet the weight of expectation pressed heavily on Keanu's shoulders. All eyes were on him, but his focus was locked on the boy. The child sat quietly, hands resting on his lap, a small, knowing smile playing on his lips. The boy's words echoed in Keanu's mind like a haunting refrain. You're not ready. The shadows will stay. Keanu took a deep breath, breaking the silence. I need a moment, he said, his voice steady but low. Without waiting for a response, he walked to the side of the altar, leaning against the cold stone pillar. The whispers of the congregation began again, faint and distant like background noise. Father Michael approached cautiously, his tone soft and reassuring. Keanu, this is your decision, no one else's. Don't let confusion or fear cloud what brought you here today. Keanu looked up at the priest, his eyes filled with conflict. It's not fear, he said slowly. It's something else. What that kid said, it hit me in a way I wasn't expecting. He shook his head, running a hand through his hair. What if he's right? What if I'm not ready? What if this is just another performance? The priest frowned slightly, choosing his words carefully. Faith isn't about perfection. It's not about being ready. It's about trust in yourself, in something greater. You've already taken the hardest step by being here. Keanu sighed, his gaze shifting back to the boy, who now sat quietly under the watchful eyes of the congregation. The boy met Keanu's eyes, nodding slightly, as if urging him to listen to his instincts. What if he knows something I don't? Keanu murmured, almost to himself. What if he sees something I can't? Father Michael placed a gentle hand on Keanu's shoulder. You have to ask yourself, do you believe in what the boy said? Or do you believe in the reason you came here today? Keanu closed his eyes, feeling the pressure build. 
He had come to this church seeking clarity, seeking answers, but now he felt more uncertain than ever. The boy's words had struck something deep inside him, stirring up doubts and memories he hadn't faced in years. Finally, Keanu stepped back toward the congregation, his voice calm but resolute. I can't do this. Not today. The room gasped collectively, the tension breaking like a wave. Keanu turned to Father Michael. I'm not walking away for good, he said, but I need to figure some things out first. The priest nodded solemnly. Faith is a journey, not a race. Take the time you need. Keanu glanced back at the boy one last time, a silent exchange passing between them. The boy's faint smile returned, and in that moment, Keanu knew this wasn't an ending. It was just the beginning. Keanu stepped outside the church, the crisp evening air hitting his face. He stood at the top of the stone steps, gazing at the sky as the first stars began to peek through the twilight. The weight in his chest had eased slightly, replaced by a strange mix of curiosity and resolve. The congregation began to trickle out behind him, their murmurs blending into the background. Among them was the boy, walking calmly down the steps as if nothing extraordinary had happened. Keanu watched him go, his mind swirling with questions. Wait, Keanu called, his voice cutting through the noise. The boy stopped, turning slowly to face him. Keanu descended the steps, stopping just a few feet away. Who are you? Why did you say those things back there? The boy looked up at him, his expression soft but unreadable. You already know the answer, he said simply. Keanu frowned, frustrated but intrigued. No, I don't. Help me understand. The boy smiled faintly, as if Keanu's confusion was part of some larger plan. It's not about me. It's about what you're looking for and what you're not ready to see yet. When the time comes, you'll know. Before Keanu could press further, the boy turned and walked into the gathering crowd. Keanu tried to follow, weaving through the people, but by the time he reached the edge of the street, the boy was gone. Keanu stood there for a long moment, the city lights flickering in the distance. The boy's words lingered in his mind, a strange comfort in their mystery. As he walked away from the church, Keanu felt a quiet determination settle over him. The answers he sought weren't out of reach, they were waiting, just beyond the shadows, and he was ready to find them, one step at a time. Could this boy have been a messenger, a coincidence, or something else entirely? What do you think his purpose was in stopping Keanu? Let us know your thoughts.